Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 36th episode of Hikaru no Go. Last episode, Hikaru went off to a, a go salon and found some Koreans and did not know a lot about the Korean go scene and may have offended a lot of people. It was all pretty funny. But he ended up going up against a Korean equivalent of an insei. And, uh, you know, he may win, he may not, we'll see. But we do know the kid has some issues that he's kind of been dealing with in his backstory. And, uh, yeah, we'll just see how that goes. So, three, two, one, play. Oh. Oof. Oof. Goku Janai. Yeah, back to our Korean kid. Yeah, I'm Hikaru. Did you not see the title of the anime? I'm a pretty big deal. <clears throat> hmm. uh. I bet you did underestimate him quite a bit. That would be such a privilege to be have your name remembered by this random kid. My name is what? My name is who? My name is John Cena. Pretty big deal. I'd be the kid right over there. Yeah. And he wouldn't lie. <laughs> Why are you so surprised? The name rings a bell. <clears throat> when did you see him at first? Okay, yeah, now I remember this scene. At least I think that was the go tournament he entered into the Bills Club, maybe. Yeah, that was totally that. Yeah, that was a scene. That was a tournament. But yeah, now I know who this character is. Fix the helpful flashback. He's improved a lot. 
You slowpoke, you finally caught up with the rest of us that have seen that Hikaru growth. And the music starts playing. That's what you say, but we'll see what happens. It could be anyone's game. I mean, just look at that board, I mean... We'll see. Oh, that was a fast hand movement. It's a blur. Motion blur. But yeah, Hikaru, don't lose this kid. Show... Show your Japanese pride. Can't lose to a Korean kid. Korea doesn't even make anime, I don't think. So, who cares about them? Music really is very really important to scenes like this because it'd be it'd feel really awkward without cool music in the background. Your heart, but you live inside Hikaru's heart. So, pretty solid match. And how much is pause between moves? Good way to put it. <laughs> Indeed. Somebody has to lose. I'm worried about that black piece falling off the side. Welcome to the new and improved Hikaru. People keep saying that. I hope you can overcome it. My knight to e4. What happened? I don't know enough about go to know if that was a bad or good move. Okay, so it was not a good move. Hopefully it's just a trap. Well, maybe he has a plan. Let's not let's not jump down his throat just yet. Yeah, he took that piece. I don't think that would just be a careless mistake, not at his current level. But yeah, people are being very mean to him in their heads. Uh. And but... Sai hasn't said anything about it. Maybe he has a different opinion about that move. We'll see, the game's not over yet, kid. Okay, so Sai does see this a different way. Yeah, he's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. Or go. Because Ricardo, you know, he has a good teacher that lives inside of his body, unlike this kid who I'm sure does not have that. Oh. He realizes. Yeah, now you realize how smart Hikaru was.
So that's, this should be the end of any con kind of ascension towards them, I would imagine. <laughs> Everyone's starting to see it. That was actually a good move. He plays a long game, not about short term wins. Well then, are you going to resign? Still have like, have at least half an episode left, so you have time. They did. Are you impressed? <laughs> Didn't expect that. Yeah, think about all the possibilities to be a good go player. Just like chess. Your move. Yeah, the music really is so important to these scenes. These matches. Well, yeah, he's uh, going to take that piece. <laughs> More blurry hands. Looks like a random animation budget. Man, this is such an intense game, isn't it? Uh, oh well, it's not a big deal. Your heads are kind of in the way, it's hard to see the board. Well, it's a very interesting animation effect there, you know. Showing transparent people watching the game as it while not never removing the camera from the board itself. It's a cool idea. It's just, it's just it makes it hard to see the board, you know? So we're filling it up pretty quickly. a lot of time with no dialogue. And yeah, that board really is getting filled up. Okay. The game really should be coming to an end soon. So, we will resign. And... Okay, we're not going to have a resign, we're just going to have to count. <laughs> Man, the, the suspense, who's, who's the winner? Tell me. Now, why is nobody saying anything? You know how awkward this makes it. Okay, good job, Hikaru. I knew you could do it. Good job wrecking that Korean kid and showing that Japanese pride.
We're also proud of you. If you're gonna cry, do it away from the board, please. Yeah, I saw those faces. Yeah, I said not to cry on the board, so uh, there he goes. Uh, well then. I have more sympathy for you, but it didn't come off as such a jerk when we first met you. Uh, yes, you did. I know he's crying about it, I just can't feel that bad for him, I'm sorry. Just for so many reasons. <laughs> yeah, I don't deny that here Carlos can be a jerk sometimes, but... I have much more emotional investment in Hikaru. I met you like the last episode. I hope you do. Gotta love this law stop you if you go is what you want to do. Oh yeah, he has to remember his name now. At least he bones up to that. <clears throat> Remember it. Believe it. How old is this kid anyway? Like nine? I'm sure he's younger than Hikaru. This is good. What goes up must come down. Here's your hat bag, kid. Now stop crying. We'll, we'll take you to McDonald's, get you a kid's meal, you'll be fine. It probably has a great toy. Yes, long time no see. Do you still know who you are? <laughs> well, he doesn't. Yeah, it's that person. You, no, okay, that was his name. Yeah, the Kayo Junior High Club. Three times. <laughs> well, yeah, that wasn't quite what Kari was doing. Yeah, that one I we did see the flashback for. I think so. Yeah, he's <laughs> Oh sorry. <laughs> uh sorry, calm down, we're trying to listen to him. He is. <clears throat> He's praising you. Yeah, you. That was all you. You can feel proud about that. <laughs> yeah, that was his game, but uh, still. You don't say. <laughs> that is some high praise. <laughs> Okay. This has been a pretty good day for him. Now he just has to become a pro.
Okay, well, remember that, Hikaru. Let's go home. It's been a long day. If you made a child cry, I'd say it was a pretty successful day. Yeah, that's a pretty big deal. Sai looked not too happy there. Well, you're gonna hurt his feelings. Watch what you say. I get what you're trying to say, but you may want to be a bit more tactful with this. Sai is still a part of you. He still hears everything you're saying. But Sai has definitely taken a backseat lately, so we might actually get more into him next episode. Because yeah, this could be the start of a big deal, of a big thing. Ricardo clearly is ready to be weaned off of Sai's, uh, you know, influence. He's clearly getting in a position where he's able to stay on his own two feet. Doesn't have to fall back to Sai in a pinch like he used to. And he's pretty happy about that, but Sai, not quite the same. Because we're not even playing online anymore, but there's something Sai like to do. That was pretty sad. He's probably going to go do that some more. Make him feel better. But still, it was a mostly positive episode. <clears throat> Winning the game, getting high praise from somebody that's has Sia to compare it to. A big deal. But Hikaru does, you know, he really should have worked on, uh, how he says things to people. Okay. Omoku. Emma. Back in for the camera. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've heard him say Kosni before. Yeah, that's why that one sounds familiar. Hiraki, I think I heard that one too. Because remember, I kept wanting to call it Hikari. Toby. Okay, thank you, Sensei, for the lesson. Okay, that was the 36th episode of Hikaru no Go. Not a lot to say, for the most part, about the game itself. I mean, it was intense. You know, one thing that's interesting about this show, you know, I always kind of compare it a little bit to shows like Saki, which is a Mahjong anime, but they handle the matches a lot differently. Like, they have these metaphorical sort of things that happen during matches, like, you know, like water will surround all of them and they're like submerged to represent the feeling they have during the game, like stuff like that. You know, maybe symbolism symbolism is a better word, I don't know, but the point is that they they would usually do fancy things like that, like lightning strikes, energy blasts, uh, what else? It's been a while since I've watched Saki, I'll be honest, but they had these cool little magical effects, I mean, that weren't actually happening, they were just for style, you know? They were just, there was no, nothing supernatural going on, they were just regular Mahjong games, but they did that to make it seem more visually entertaining, and Hikaru no Go doesn't do that, like, at all, really. Like, very rarely. We've had some sort of stuff where it has, like, these astral-looking boards and stuff here and there, but that's that's not the norm. That's not the norm at all. So, in order to make it a bit more... They have to kind of handle it a little bit differently. Usually, it's just basically the music. Because they don't even usually have commentary going with it either, which is another thing you can do to make these sort of matches more interesting to watch. They don't really have much of that either. Uh... They just kind of have some characters here and there offer some of their own, like, some of their, you know, few, I guess the technically would be called commentary, but they don't have, like, a dedicated commentator, if that makes sense, you know. 
and it's actually the people that are watching because most of the games we see have people watching spectating they'll say some thoughts like wow that move was not that was not a good move what are you doing here karu like they'll offer a little bit here and there but it's not it's not commentary heavy by any means we usually what they usually use is the music the music does a good job of really getting you pulled into it like i understand very little about go i pretty much just know that you surround your opponent's tile stone with your stone and capture it and the more stones you have left on the board the better you know like that like I, I get that much that's pretty much my understanding of the game for the most part so you know i can't like read the board and tell oh yeah hikaru is way ahead or like hey hikaru you should probably do this move like i can't do that i don't understand the game well enough so i really rely on anything the show can do to make it a bit more interesting and it does a good job with that with the music and some of the comments from people that actually understand the game properly and it was cool this episode that we had Hikaru make a good move that everybody didn't think was a good move, but it was. He was just kind of seeing a he was kind of preparing for a different part of the game. That he just kind of took a hit there to to better prepare for that. And then people picked up on that eventually, which is pretty cool. It seemed like Sai the whole time knew it was it was all good. And in the end, Hikaru won. He beat that Korean kid, made him cry. So pretty productive, I would say. And it was really cool seeing the one guy, uh, Yoon, I think he called himself. You know, the instruct well the like the club, like the club te super advisor for the Kayo Junior High Go Club. Anyway, we haven't seen him for a while. I forgot who he was completely until they showed some flashbacks. But yeah, he saw Sai playing Hikaru in, in Hikaru's body. And he was comparing this game to that one. And still thinks that, yeah, Hikaru's come a long way. So that's got to be something pretty, pretty good for his self-esteem. But... It, so far, it's not very good for Sai, though. Sai very much starting to feel unneeded, I think. And, uh, yeah, that's not a good thing. So hopefully, Hikaru can have a good discussion with Sai about how important he is to him. Because what he said there did not make Sai feel any better. It really did not. I know he wasn't really directing that at Sai so much as himself, but still, Sai heard all of that. So, Hikaru, you might want to talk to him a bit about this. It's help it. Because his feelings, I think, were a little bit damaged there. I want to feel unneeded, I'm sure. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'll just call it call it here. So, good episode. Uh, I look forward to seeing what they do aside going forward after the bit of a teaser we had with, with the end of this episode. So, thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.